Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you so much for joining me back. You already know if y'all have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. Don't forget to hit that um, like button and that notification bell so you don't miss the upload from your girl. Hurry up, okay? Hurry up. So today we are doing a braided crochet pony on Nyla's hair. So just to start off, I'm going to um, part her hair in half from ear to ear. And um, to make it a little bit more easier, you can start off by parting the hair into four sections, but I'm going to part it in half and uh, from ear to ear. And then I'm going to start to make um, smaller sections um, going to the back. Okay, so now that our hair is parted in half, I'm going to, as you can see, it's parted straight at, straight in half, straight across. I'm now going to start um, parting her hair at a downward angle motion or an angle part, but the part is going to start right at the top point of the top of her head where her hair is um, parted in half. So right here is a better angle where you can see it. So I'm just slightly parting her hair into little small sections, going all the way up to the point of where the half part would be, because I'm gonna do um, individual braids going into a ponytail. So that's why I was saying, if it's easier for you, you can just part the hair into four sections and then just part throughout each section. Or you can just do what I'm doing right now is just, you know, parting the hair from the top portion of the first part we created, which was to part the hair in half, and just go downward in an angular motion. And once you get that parted, it doesn't have to be perfect, but just as straight as you can get it, then you can start braiding that section off. So these little sections will be your braided ponytail. Okay, you guys, so right here is where you can see what I'm talking about, where I made all of the parts. Um, they all met right at the center top of her head, and they're all just coming down in a triangle motion. So if you can see, that would be those two, where I parted it straight down the middle. That would be, you know, if I used her hair and parted it in fours. So you can see that part will go right up to that point at the top, the other one, and so forth and so forth. Okay, so the products I'm using is this pink um, oil moisturizer, and I'm also going to be using some hair jam. Um, this moisturizer, it, it adds a great amount of shine to the hair. Um, I won't say that it's thick, like a really thick moisturizer, um, but it does, I do like to use it for braiding because it does add good slippage, so I don't have to worry about the hair being dry dried and then it also adds um, a lot of shine so that's why i like to use pink oil moisturizer so once i add that i'm just going to comb that product through just to make sure all of her hair strands are coated and then i'm going to take the jam and with the hair jam i'm going to outline the part and make sure it's as straight as possible in the jam there we go right now it's going to smooth everything out so there is um no frizzy hair sticking out.
Okay, so once you get done with all of your braids, it should look something like this, where all of your braids are just going up in a straight um, ponytail. And once you get done, just go in and oil the scalp, which is what I'm doing to her right now, just to make sure um, her the style lasts and then her head's not itching from it being dry. And after I oil her scalp, I'm going to, as you can see, tie um, her loose braids into a really tight bun, secure it, and then I'm going to add mousse to her hair to um, make sure any flyaways, make sure they're all um, tied down and they're not sticking out of the braids. If you want, you can totally leave the, um, just leave this as the hairstyle and go but i'm not going to do that um, next i'm going to go in and gel down her edges and then tie them down and then i'm going to be crocheting in some crochet hair Okay, so now that I'm pretty much done, this is the crochet hair I'm using, which is the Lulu Tress um, Deep Twist in 18 inches. I'm installing the crochet hair as normal. I'm doing the, I'm not doing it the knotless method or anything like that. It's just the standard install. And what you can do when it comes to installing this crochet hair, you can always cut it to where you feel like it's appropriate if you do feel like the 18 inches is too long. Um, I did end up cutting the hair for Nyla um, because I didn't want her to look like an adult because again she's just um, she's just a kid and I want her to try to look appropriate for her age but um, again you don't have to install this crochet hair I did because I just wanted to try a different look and use up the hair. Okay, so now I pretty much, I am done installing the crochet hair into her ponytail. Now I'm just um, doing one big braid with the crochet hair because I'm going to use that braid to cover up the base of the ponytail and to cover up the knots and things like that that um, show with crochet braids. So you'll just install that and then just wrap it around and just keep watching. You'll see how I'll attach this braid. And thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate all of the love and support. Thank you so much. If you have, if you do not follow me on social media, don't forget to do so. Check out my Instagram at Brit Breast Styles. Also, if you are in need of some fabulous, gorgeous lashes or hair extensions, you can always go to my online store and support your girl, which is www.allthewayglam.com. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And the final look is coming up. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.